वेलकम टू होम लाइब्रेरी बुक रिव्यू चिल्ड्रन सीरीज वेर वी सिलेक्ट अ बुक राइट फ्रॉम द शेल्फ एंड एक्सप्लेन इट्स कॉन्टेंट थ्रू इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड टेक्स्ट ग्राफिक्स एग्जाम्पल्स एंड एनिमेशन अलॉन्ग विद डिस्कशन विद फैमिली मेम्बर्स आई एम ज्वाइंट विद माई सन आर नव टू रिव्यू द एस्ट्रिक्स एंड द गोल्डन सिकल Hey everyone it was first published in friends in 1962 it is the second volume of asterix comic strip series very interesting and colorful comic book and it has a good reads rating of 4.1 out of 5 and in case you have missed to watch the first series of asterix Don't worry. The link is right there in the description by the name Asterix the Gaul. Don't forget to watch it. So let's begin with the main characters. Asterix, Obelix and Druid Giraffix. In the Gaul village when Asterix and Obelix here some shouting from the tree they turn around to see druid on the tree druid tells them i have broken my golden sickle and this is terrible as mistletoe must be cut with a golden sickle to have magic powers what is a mistletoe arna mom Mistletoe is an ingredient that is used to make magic potion. Druid is upset as he needs to attend the great annual conference of Gaulish druids and he cannot go without a sickle. He tells them the best ones he consider using are made by the famous metallurgists in far away Lutetia Lutetia is a long way off through the forests full of barbarians and bandits to get there Asterix and Obelix volunteer to go to Lutetia Druid hands over a bottle of magic potion to Asterix to make him invincible whenever he needs it They are on the way in the forest. Few bandits are hiding behind the tree to steal their money. Asterix drinks his magic potion and fights them all off. After traveling for few days, at last one day they reach Lutetia. they look for metallurgic's house and knock the door but there is no response to take a break they go to a wine shop astric tries asking the owner of the wine shop if he knew where metallurgic's was he replies I don't know anyone by that name. The shop owner goes to a man and tells him that two people were looking for metallurgists. This man's name was Clover Garlic. Clover Garlic moves out of his house to look for Asterix and Obelix. When he finds them he tells them that Metallurgix is his best friend what do you want from him Asterix tells him he wants to buy a golden sickle Clover Garlic tells them that Metallurgix has left Lutetia but I can get you a sickle 
at very competitive prices. Come with me. He takes both of them to his boss, Navish Trix. Navish Trix tells them, I can get you top quality sickle at 3000 gold coin. As per Asterix, this is robbery as he can get a good golden sickle for just 100 coins. They lead to an argument and then a fight. The Roman legionaries who were passing by heard some noises and went inside to look. They arrest both the Gauls, Asterix and Obelix. Arnav, tell us what happens next. So mom, the Romans take Asterix and Obelix to the centurion and tells them that these two men have broken up Navistrix's place. The centurion orders them to throw these gods in the prison. In a moment, one of the servants shows up. Them, there is a lot of and the prefect wants to see everyone. Asterix tells the prefect that we were just here to buy a golden sickle. The prefect tells the legionaries that release these gauls. Since he always thought that Navistrix was mixed up in this sickle trafficking business. The centurion tells Asterix there is a gang of golden sickle traffickers in Lutetia and they have the monopoly especially as metallurgists disappeared bring any forwarding Asterix thought that they might have kidnapped metallurgics thank you Arnav they again go to metallurgics house and break open the door the house was complete mess and it seemed there had been a fight here and there were a lot of belongings inside. Only Metallurgic's tool, his sickles and his money were missing. Asterix thought he is still out there and we will find him. They go back to the wine shop and find out that he has sold his shop to someone else and has started moving to another city, Dragovia. Asterix and Obelix both run towards the same direction to catch him and gain some information about metallurgics. Upon catching him, they get to know that one day some men came and took metallurgics and one of the men was known as Clover Garlics. They take Clover Garlic's address and go to his house. However, no one opens the door and Obliques Crash opens the door. When the Romans see they have crashed open the door, they catch them up and lock them up in the prison. They meet a man in the prison who tells them that he knows Clover Garlics and he and Navistrix often meet under the dolmen. Obliques crash opens the jail door and they both run to find the dolmen where Clover Garlics and Navistrix would meet. They walk towards the forest, fight with wolves and finally reach the dolmen. They both climb and hide in the tree. They see Navistrix coming towards the dolmen, but suddenly he disappears. They both come down the tree to save where he vanished, and then suddenly Obliques falls in the hidden pit. Asterix drinks his magic potion and goes behind obliques and there 
In the pit, they see thousands of golden sickles. From behind, Navistrix and Clover Garlics appear and asks his men to seize both Asterix and Obliques. Both the Gauls fight their men off. In the meantime, Navistrix escapes from the pit and Clover Garlics tells Asterix that their big boss has kept Metalert as a prisoner and only Navistrix knows big boss identity. Both the Gauls run towards the city to find out that the prefect is the big boss. The centurion appears and tells the prefect that both these calls will be punished for disturbing you. Asterix tells the centurion that your prefect is a bandit. He is the boss of the golden sickle traffickers. The prefect admits that he did it for fun and money and metallurgics is in the cellar. They both free metallurgics and take him along to the dolmen to get his golden sickles back. Metallurgics gives Asterix one sickle for Druid and they head back to the village and hands over the golden sickle to Druid. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe. Also press on the bell notification button for more videos like these. Until next time, take care and bye.